This Saturday night on PandaFeed.tv, former world title challenger Tion Kenny gets back in the ring. His second fight in uh, a few months when he takes on Jose Lito Colado. Live at Bally's in Atlantic City. Tion, how are you doing a few days now? Uh, I'm feeling great, you know what I mean? Like I said, 130, my new weight. I mean, come off easy, so I'm, I'm feeling strong and ready to go. 130, you just said 130 pounds. You actually jumped up two weight classes. You went from 22 over, you skipped over 26. Yeah. Uh, Talk, let me talk about that. No, I just feel though, you know what I mean? That yeah, I could have made 22 or 26, so 30 was the best way to go. Um, talk about Jose Lito Colado. Yeah. 30 solid opponent, 14 and 2, I believe. Uh huh. Well, like I said, I don't really know too much about him. I mean, I've seen one fight of him. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't really watch tapes on, on Jose Lito Colado. Yeah. Um, talk about the opponent you just fought, Jose Lito Colado. Yeah. Uh, he's a very good fighter. Yeah. Um, talk about your opponent you just fought, Jose Lito Colado. Yeah. Um, talk about the opponent you just fought, Jose Lito Colado. Yeah. Um, talk about the opponent you just fought, Jose Lito Colado. Yeah. Um, talk about the opponent you just fought, Jose Lito Colado. Yeah. Um, talk about the opponent you just fought, Jose Lito Colado. Yeah. Um, talk about the opponent you just fought, Jose Lito Colado. Yeah. Um, talk about the opponent you just Talk about sometimes the Philadelphia against Philadelphia rivalry. The guys, they put the guy from New York. Obviously, Philadelphia and New York, they, they've been rivals in every sport imaginable, and now boxing it. Yeah. Just a little bit extra being easy. He's only an hour and a half up the road. He's a New Yorker. You can get a little bit more pumped up or something like that? No, not really. I get pumped up for all my fights, so it doesn't matter if you're from New York, no matter from from Alaska, from out of space, whatever. I get pumped up for all my fights. Um. Uh, you recently just talked off camera. Recently, you got married. How's it yeah. affect you in your career now going forward? Well, it, it affect you know what I mean. They said when you get married, you age faster. So, but <laughs> I ain't seen nothing that yet. But it's been, it been good so far. You only been married for like two weeks right now, so right. it's good. So, uh, Thank you. So, so uh, basically, Saturday night you're looking for maybe a good honeymoon prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prize. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> um, talk about the landscape now. 130 pounds. Uh -huh. How many fights away are you believe you are from getting back to knocking on the door of the title shot? Uh, probably one or two. I mean, this this fight right here is, is pretty big. You know I mean, the guy, I mean, he's he a nice fighter, good record. So this fight and probably another fight, then I'll probably be knocking on the door again. Let's talk to your uh, trainer, Wade, hand for a second. I hand the mic, Wade. Uh, how, how do you feel Tian's been progressing at 130 pounds? I think Tian's has been at this weight for the last couple of years, actually. Uh, so. Uh, this is just, uh, these fights that he's fighting out right now is just making it all official. Same question I just asked him. Even with a good performance on Saturday night, what do you, I mean, what do you think? How, when do you feel he'll be ready to knock on the door for a tunnel shot again? Well, I think uh, he'll be ready in another, you know, year or, or, or less. How many fights? I mean, uh, two, three, fights, something like that, I'd like to see. Uh, this is definitely a step-up fight from uh, the last fight with uh, Banan. Uh, Banan. Uh, so um, this kid is kind of reminiscent of Diaz. He fought a couple years ago. Uh, really, really game kid. Uh, got got some talent and a lot of determination. So you're the same type of fighter you feel at 130 than 122. I mean, he's. He, he was known as the technician, or, you know, and he's still known as a technician, but he loved his fight for solid boxing performance. He got into a, a series of wars, which I know you really didn't want him to get into. Right. Last performance was, again, a uh, good, solid technical performance, and, and, and he fought, you know, inside in, in, in some good spots. Is that what you're looking for, more of a well-rounded uh, effort? No doubt about it. We were looking for Tiana to put it all together, which he's starting to do. Um, Tian has a lot of abilities. I think, again, when she's in there with the right opponent, I think he'll show that to the wall. And now we'll finish off with Tian for a second. Tian, uh, same question. Uh, looking back on that performance, like, you, you know, I think you would agree you fought, you know, probably your first 15, 16 fights, real technical, good boxing. Mm. And you got drug into some wars for about a four or five fight stretch. Mm. Last fight, in fact, back to the basics, and then you, you, you messed around inside. On good spots, and yeah. is that, that what you saw on film? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's what I always plan on doing. I mean, like you said, three couple, three, four fights, gone in words. I mean, the, the Philly came out of me at that time, but I mean, I'm back to boxing. I mean, if I if I had the war in there, like if I, I see him weakening, that's why I'm gonna start uh, taking it to him more. Well, anything you want to say in close before you, we see you Saturday night on PandaFeed.tv.
uh, live from Bowers Atlantic City, Pelts Boxing. Well, no, I, mean, I just want to do, say what I always say. Uh, thanks to my fans for supporting me and just keep supporting me. You ain't, you ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, there's more to come. Just nine ninety nine, a great night of action. Tion, we'll see you Saturday night on the boardwalk. All right, thank you. Hey, buddy. Come on, 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 come on,